Okay, guys, we just got over here to Joe's, and uh, I'm gonna move move a little bit of uh, material for him. This right here, big wood chip pile. That's that's where he, uh, or that's where we are gonna be storing snow. So uh, I'm gonna get this wood pile or wood chip pile moved over here, out of the way. Kind of some last minute things we're doing here before. Uh, before the snow hits. That is where we usually build a big ramp. That's where we lived last year, so it's right across the street from our old house. But we're gonna be doing snow removal on all these properties back here. There's uh, multiple properties all the way back through here. First order of business is gonna be getting this wood chip pile out of the way. Clark's in a minute and he's got a bunch of TNG siding and some logs that he's going to give us so we're taking the skid steer and we're going to take the boys down there and we're going to load all that stuff and get it off Clark's hands hopefully the logs I'm planning on using for my uh, for the lift that I or the lift the swing swing that I want to do. So I think I got this about as good as I'm going to get it for now. We're going to head over to Clark's. All right. You can see it's really wet. I got the front wheel off the ground here. When Dan gets back, we're gonna bust out the impact <clears throat> and pull that wheel off so we can take it down to Bishop and get it fixed. And then I'm gonna get the side panels on. And just last little odds and ends. So we're ready to roll. <clears throat> Keep moving stuff around, get everything kind of shuffled the way we want it. Life will be good. Okay. So we're over at Mr. Clark's house. And these are the leftover logs from this build. From when he built this house. Well, we helped him build it, but um so those are the logs we're gonna try and get to so that we can uh build our, our swing in our yard. You should, uh, got the Yoda. That's a nice little, little Yoda. Okay, so they're gonna get those logs first and then we're gonna get this TNG here. <clears throat> this is gonna make perfect decking material for the deck that I wanna build down at the uh, ranch. So the boys are gonna get everything loaded for me. And uh, we'll be ready to make a trip back to Baco. 
here is uh, Travis's place and the roof is all done. And that took uh, about five or six days <clears throat> to complete. And uh, from start to finish, everything came out pretty good. We got to get the scissor lift back over to the shop and pick up these pallets. Other than that, everything uh, came out nice on this roof. I'm not going to go up there right now. I'll show it to you guys another time. You can see the new gutters that we did right there. Pete did those for us. Pete with Air Mechanical. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll uh, go around here real quick. But there's the leftover trim pieces. So we we'll need to find a place to take those. I don't want to bother anybody. It's Saturday morning, but here you can get the idea. Came out nice, all capped out. Everything, uh, everything worked out on this one. So on to the next. Beautiful day out and the clouds are low, <clears throat> low hanging clouds. We're expecting some more snow coming in this afternoon. Not really windy, which is nice. Don't really mind that at all. So I popped over here at Sherwin just to kind of see what's left over here. We, we've already cleaned out a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> I gotta get my tank and I gotta get this bucket here. This is this is that bucket I've talked about, had the side shift on it. Somebody did comment, I saw that comment, said it's not gonna work. I, I think it's gonna work pretty good actually. Um, for one, because it has that kick out right there. So it, it, it will actually kind of work like a blade, all this little peel out that side, you know, the, the uh the snow <clears throat> i still gotta get looks like i got a ladder here what's left of one and that one's broken too but i need to get that got wheelbarrows cement mixers <sighs> gosh all right uh, more scaffolding still still a lot of stuff back here that we gotta get quite a bit of stuff so we got all this scaffolding back here yeah, we definitely got one heck of a load steel to get out of here. So uh, we're going to get working on that next week. We'll get the rest of this plywood, take those steps, take this lumber. This stuff's all got to go, guys. Concrete stakes. Plenty of stuff. But isn't it just a beautiful morning out? Just a beautiful day. Look at that. Weather's coming, guys. So we got Clark hooked us up with these logs. These are 12 footers too. I think they're 12 footers or did he get the 10s? I told him to get the 12s, they're the 10s. Oh no, those are 12s. Yeah, those are the long ones. So I got, I think I got four of the 12s. One, two, yeah, four. Perfect. Yeah, buddy. I'm super pumped about that. So I got four of those 12s. And that's what we're going to make the, uh, the swing for the chair. And then I'm going to take these other shorter ones and we're going to do the, uh, we're going to make a, a patio 
for the jacuzzi. So I'm gonna come up with a, a lumber list for that. And I'm gonna get, we're gonna get the guys working on that sooner than later. I'm gonna remove that piece of siding right there and put a ledger up. And I'm gonna put a patio up and get some plywood on it real quick. And I'm gonna have my hot tub under, try to have it <clears throat> under the protection of a patio this winter. So those are some things we're gonna get working on in the next week or so. And uh, life will be good. Okay, Elliot's gonna take the machine back down to Clark's. We're gonna get that tongue and groove siding. And uh, you can see it's starting to spit just a little. And I think for today, We've done about all we can do. We're going to hop in the Pioneer and uh, go make sure they get that thing loaded up correctly with no issues. Come on, guys. Come on, bud. Get up there, bud. Go. Yeah, bud goes right in. Go, Sadie. You can do it. <laughs> Come on. Sadie. Sadie. Sadie, get up there. Come on. Come on, Sadie. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. Right. Be quiet. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Oh, she tried. Oh, you almost got it, girl. You almost got it. Good girl. You okay, let's go. Okay, so here's our TNG that Clark hooked us up on. That's quite a quite a bit too. That's gonna be a lot. I would I would set I would set it up here like this one at one and then get over here and grab the other end and lift over like I don't know I don't I don't want to tear these fenders up I know that I'm just gonna set I'm gonna set another set of stickers on top of it. <laughs> Hopefully it's high enough. Yeah. Under here. Could have used that beam as a sticker. Huh? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so we got the TNG loaded. Just set it up on the fender gently and then you'll then you can climb up on the trailer and gently get it all the way. Go back, keep going, Elliot. More. We're gonna have to teach this boy how to handle lumber. Slide it forward some. Huh? Make sure any of your little loose ones on top are underneath this beam. Because I saw a couple short ones. Okay. All right, we'll see you back at the house. Come on, guys. Sadie, bud. Let's go. Load them up. Load them up, guys. Sadie. Sado, come on, get in there, bud. Get up there. Go, come on, get in the car. Get up there, Sadie, go. Get up there, you can do it. Come on. Get up there, Sadie. Sadie, get up there. Come on, you can do it. Sadie, <laughs> are you scared? Come on, you can do it. Come on, let's go, let's go. Alrighty, well, we got most of our stuff done for a Saturday morning, and um, I think I'm going to call it a day. Storm's starting to move in. It's still pretty wet, so it's not sticking. But it's supposed to be kind of doing this. Uh, little flurries the rest of the afternoon and all throughout the night. So we will see what it looks like in the morning, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment. Let us know what you think in the comments. It really helps with the videos. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Winter is here, guys. 
Winter is here and we are only just getting started. So this is 28 San Moritz. I had to put the stakes up there because of the asphalt. As long as we stay one foot away, should be fine. This one's a straight shot, ends right there. This one's all done. Well, it's staking time. This is the Manzanita one. We got our stakes put up. It's like individual for the garage. So I got those all staked out. We gotta be careful not to get too close because we'll take those out. See, they're everywhere. Some of them are like really stuck out, like this one right here. So yeah, we, we'll, we'll know. But yeah, this one's Mancinita. Got it all staked out. They wanted the pathway as well. So we went ahead and did the pathway. Dying in the snow. Winter's here and winter's coming. So it's another tricky one. We have this truck here. Put some sticks around it. It won't be moving. This is an Alexander Lane. But I have the sticks down. We have lots of storage. Lots and lots of storage. So we're doing that right there. And then the entrance. Starting to dump real lightly. I guess it's not a dump, it's a light, light sprinkle. You can see we got a little, little dust last night here. Not quite enough to go out really, uh, about three, three, three to five inches, maybe. I would say right around three inches though, to be safe, but uh, I'm gonna play around here in the driveway and clean it up a bit. We're gonna try the, I'm gonna make a windrow for the uh, for the blower and try the Lugong and see how far it actually throws it. So we'll give that a shot. It was really windy last night. I mean, we have no power, power's out. Lost a power line up the road, I guess. And uh, so for the time being, we have no power. So everybody woke up a little chilly this morning, but uh, we're gonna, Sunday morning, we're gonna mess around and see what we can get into. Get a little fuel winner. And uh, so we're gonna do some training with Dan and Elliot. They've never been up here. So what I did was I made a windrow with the blade right here. And we're going to we're going to practice some uh some snow blowing. So this I figured this would be a good little spot to uh try some training. So I'm going to get in the machine first and I'm going to show how to do a transition right here. How you have to adjust the uh, blower and then we're gonna go I'll, I'll let them hop in and try to do practice on where they can throw it and uh, stuff like that so we want to throw it in this flower bed right here so that's uh then I might we may come out here and do the uh, this windrow that the town made for us and uh, clean this up too. So just kind of get some practice. We're not really expecting any more snow in the next two weeks. So this will be a, a good time to train under no pressure. Okay, so we got Elliot here. This is his first day ever sure, in the- Is it like the cat with the, uh, the parking? Well, do, the one that says P on it is the button on. 
So that means it's ready to go. Now that means your your parking brake is on now. Take it off. Okay. All right. So you have no idea what you're doing, do you? <laughs> Give it a little throttle. Up there to the right, the throttle. The red on this one. This was the throttle? Nope, over there. Up, uh, yep. So we made our first few passes in the driveway here, just training. Dan's in it for his first time. No, you're fine, down. Go back down, right there. Just getting a feel for it. I think throws the snow pretty nicely. Um, I made a wind row and uh, it handled it fairly well, so we haven't really seen any heavy snow yet, but I might try over here in some of these and see what it does. Well, testing with the Lugong so far, so good. <clears throat> of course, it's not a lot of snow, but um, now we're gonna get on this road here that's kind of a virgin road. It's not very much snow, but like I said, we're doing practicing here, so um, we're gonna let these guys take a pass down the road and uh, see how it goes. So Dan's, this is his first time ever running a blower as well. So we're just, everybody's training today. They're getting a little feisty here in the snow. You're gonna bang your head, almost hit his head on that. Guys, you better watch out. Well, they're definitely having fun in the snow today. Okay, so we got our first driveway done and our first road done with Dan and Elliot here. And uh, they both made a pass, kind of get the hang of things. So uh, you wanna try You want to try some more? I'll do the driveway, yeah. Yeah, let's try this driveway. Don't even go all the way up, just go, just go up, you know, and just go, you can go forward <clears throat> to the left, spin around and then throw it it don't matter which way, just left or right. Uh, well, here's Elliot doing his second pass. Almost down to the pavement. He's got a pretty good cut going. helping train Elliot.
Okay, we got to play in the snow for the first time. Elliot is, uh, it's his first season up here, so he's learning. We're starting early. Now it's like, I don't know, close to, it's in the 50s, that's for sure. Warm, warm, warm. And everything, water is just running everywhere. Welcome to Mammoth, guys. All right, it's bright and sunny out, guys. And we're just wrapping up our morning here, Sunday morning. Hope you guys enjoyed the first uh, snow that stuck for the season. Look at that. I mean, it's almost t-shirt weather now. Thanks for watching, we really appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to like and comment on the video, that helps so much. And we will keep getting you some content and we'll see you on the next one.